Hello and welcome. I am Raghav from Automation Step by Step and in this session we are going to go very basic step by step and we are going to do the setup for getting started with TypeScript. So in this session I will start with downloading and installing Node.js. For getting TypeScript we need Node.js. So this is the first step and the first thing you can do is you can go to your command line if you are on Windows or you can go to terminal if you are on Mac or your console on Linux and check if node is already installed and you can say node space hyphen hyphen version and this will give you the version of node in case it is installed and if you get command not found that means node is not installed you can also just say node space hyphen v which is the short form and npm minus v also npm is the node package manager and it will get installed as you install node.js now just in case node is not installed on your system you can go to node.js download and here this is the site you can get node.js for your operating system and then install it just in case you want step-by-step -step tutorial you can go on my website that is automationstepbystep.com and here if you scroll down you will find a playlist for APM under mobile testing and here this will take you to my YouTube playlist on APM and here if you see this video how to install APM on Windows and how to install APM on Mac in the first part of both of these videos I have shown how to install Node.js so you can take help from here and once Node.js is there you can check with these command node space hyphen v and npm space hyphen v and then we have to install TypeScript now you can install TypeScript globally or you can also add TypeScript to a specific folder or to a specific project now I will show you how to do that for a local folder shortly but for now let us install TypeScript globally using the command npm install minus g TypeScript so you can go on your command prompt and in case you have freshly installed node.js then you should exit from the command prompt and open a new command prompt so I'm going to open a new command prompt and now I will say npm install minus g flag is to install the library globally on the system and then I will say TypeScript now if you hit enter it will install the latest stable version of TypeScript but if you want you can also say add and can give some particular version number in case you want some particular version number or you can just say next to get the nightly builds of TypeScript but for now I will go with the latest stable version and I will hit enter and this will download and install TypeScript now for me the process was bit fast because it was already present on my system in your case it can take some time and even if you get some issues do not worry shortly I will show you how to install it on a local folder sometimes if you are using a system where you do not have access to all the folders or all the drives you may face some errors while you install a library globally so you can just wait for some time and now I will go to the next step I can also check the version of TypeScript by saying TSC space hyphen V so TSC is TypeScript compiler and I will say minus V and it will show me the version so this is the latest stable version at the time of this video now step number three is I have to get some IDE or code editor where I will write my programs and you can use any code editor where you can work with TypeScript and JavaScript but I will prefer Visual Studio Code which is very very efficient and it has support for a lot of programming languages and you can just go to Visual Studio Code website you can say Visual Studio Code download and here is the website this is code.visualstudio.com forward slash download and here you can get Visual Studio for your operating system and download and again you can go to my website automationstepbystep.com and if you scroll down you can see you can see here we have a IDE and editors Visual Studio Code and this will take you to my YouTube playlist on VS Code and you can watch the first video what is Visual Studio Code and 
Visual Studio Code beginner tutorial on Windows and Mac in 7 steps. So this will tell you everything about VS Code and then once you have Visual Studio Code, we can now add support for JavaScript, TypeScript and Code Runner on VS Code. So open your Visual Studio Code. Let me exit from here and you can open your Visual Studio Code. And the first thing you will get here is welcome screen. You can also go to help and again get the welcome screen. And here you will see that there will be some support for tools and languages. And here you can find JavaScript and TypeScript. Whatever is not installed will be highlighted in blue. In my case, JavaScript is already added. So you can see it is not highlighted. So in, case, in your case, if you are seeing JavaScript and TypeScript support here, you can just click and get it. The other way is you can go to the extensions here. This is the icon for extensions and here you can search for JavaScript and you can see all the plugins and extensions here and similarly you can also search for TypeScript and again you will see all the plugins and extensions here. But the best way will be you can just go from here and click on more and you can see if there is anything that is not installed you can install from here and you can see it is still taking me to the extensions section so you can get it from here and then after you have added the support also you can get code runner code runner will help to run directly from the editor so again search for code runner here in the extensions and you can see this is the code runner in my case it is already added so it will actually add this button or run button where you can directly run your code so it has support for TypeScript, JavaScript and everything. So once you have got this, we can move to step number five that is create a new folder and then open this folder in Visual Studio Code. So here I can go on my, you can go to any location on your system. I will go to my D drive and go to projects and let me create a new project for TypeScript and I will open this in Visual Studio Code. So I can go to Visual Studio Code and here I will say just let me close all these open files and go to the Explorer and here I can go to File and say Open Folder. I can also create a new window and then open there but let me just open the folder here and I will go to my D drive, Projects and TypeScript and I will say select folder and you can now see the TypeScript folder has come here and now here I have options to create a new file or create a new folder or collapse everything so we have done step number five step number six is I can now check by creating a JavaScript file or a TypeScript file with .js and .ts extensions so let me very quickly just go here and click on create new file and I will say basic dot js and you can see it is creating and it is also highlighting it i will also create another file basic dot ts and it has also created a typescript file when we start working you will not have to create a javascript file whenever we compile or transpile a TypeScript file it will anyways going to create a JavaScript file for us with the same name so this we will learn later so this is how you can get started now let me show you what if you want to set up TypeScript and add and work with TypeScript on a local folder so before I do this let me go and uninstall TypeScript from my system I will say npm uninstall minus g TypeScript and if I say tsc minus v so as of now TypeScript is uninstalled I will exit from here and now I am going to add TypeScript in a local folder the first step is obviously we have to get node.js which I already have and now I have to download IDE that is Visual Studio Code again I have this then I have to create a new folder and open in VS Code. So I have already opened this folder. Let me just remove these files. So it is a empty folder. I will remove these files that I just created. So now I have this empty folder TypeScript added 
in my Visual Studio code. Now I have to open the terminal in Visual Studio code. So for that I will go here terminal and you can see new terminal the shortcut is control shift and back tick key or I can just click here and you will see a new terminal window here and if you press enter you will see it has opened the terminal at the same location of this folder that I, I am on Visual Studio Code. I have to now run the commands npm init minus y and I will tell you what it is. So you can see as of now my folder is empty there is no file or any subfolders here. I will now here say npm init minus y minus y. So npm init is a command to initialize a node project so that we can add all the node dependencies within this project within a folder in this project and it is not available outside this project and for that we need a file called package.json and this file will get created when we run the command npm init now just in case if you have worked with some other uh, technologies like java you will see that there is a pom.xml file where we can manage all the dependencies in the same way we have package.json file for node project and it gets created after we say npm in it and minus y is a flag to start the project with all the default options if you do not use minus y then you will get some questions that you have to answer but if you say minus y it will use all the default options so i will hit enter and you will see it has created package.json file and you can now see it has got all these information here and as we add our typescript it will also give the details of the library or the packages added so we have done step number four now in the same terminal you can run the next command that is npm install typescript and this will install typescript only for this project and only within this folder this is a good way to keep your system clean and also in case you do not have access to all the folders on your system it is a good way it is also helpful in case you want to keep different projects with different versions of the libraries for example i want to create one more project with a different version of typescript and other libraries this is a great way so that i have not installed the library or the package globally it is only within that folder so i will say npm install typescript i think there was a error in the spelling so you can see here let me clear and show you the command again i said uh, type script uh, c was missing let me correct it this is typescript and i will hit enter and yes now i should get a typescript added to this project and to this folder and now you can see if i go to my package.json you can see here it has showing this is the library or the package added now there is also a meaning of this cap symbol i will explain this to you later but if you want you can also search for this but what i'm going to show you is here you can see now we have got a folder called node modules and if i open this you can see i have got typescript here and now all the files all the packages all the libraries i add will come here it is also very handy that if i have to take this project to any other system I will just have to run a single command and it will manage and get all the dependencies all the packages that is required for this project so we have done step number four and I can now check if typescript is installed now if you see earlier we were running the command tsc minus v when we have installed typescript globally but now I will have to use npx npx is for running the npm commands on a local folder so I will say npm tsc minus v and you can see i have got this version of typescript so now this is ready i can again add folders and files to my project so let me just go and add a folder i will create a folder called test and now inside this test folder i'm going to create a file basic.ts and you can see i can now continue working and writing code in typescript uh, let me see uh, i think the folder got created uh, separately let me yeah i actually created a file instead of a folder let me create a folder called 
test and now it will not allow me because there is a file with the same name I will have to delete this and now I will go to the TypeScript folder or my main folder and click on this to create a new folder called test and I will just drag and drop my basic.ts inside the test folder and I will say move and yes now I have got it here so now I am ready with my project and I can continue working with TypeScript I hope this was useful for you if you have liked this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in the next session never stop learning